Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm Matt Stryker and this is Ree's Retro Toys. On today's adventure, I am heading to the Maryland Toy Expo located in the Maryland State Fairgrounds north of Baltimore. Now, the Maryland Toy Expo is formerly known as the Pasadena Toy Expo. They moved locations, they moved venues, and it's a huge space located now in the exhibition hall of the Maryland State Fairgrounds. Now, this is run by Mark and Christian, whom you met before at Toys for the Ages and Pasadena. So I'm really looking forward to check out their new venue and their new event. Um, I know I had a blast at Pasadena last year. You can check that video out right here on my channel if you wish to. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, my, my buddy Matt is going to be there. Um, I know Andy from Toys for the Ages is set up. Bob from Uncle Bob's Vintage Toys is setting up as well. So it should be a fantastic time. So I'm heading to Maryland. Uh, wish me luck, guys. Toys. There we go. Up, How Andy, you doing? Toys Good. for the Ages. Toys for the Ages Expo. What date is it? August 13, 2022, Pennsylvania's premier vintage toy expo. If you haven't been there yet, 
you might want to come because if you're looking for vintage stuff, we got it. Absolutely. We I, got it. I've told Andy several times it's the best vintage toy show that I've been to. I, I appreciate that. Sure. And uh, here's the uh, info on it if you need to see it. But there's the info on that. There you guys can check guys. it out. We will be uh, there. 9, 9 to 10 a.m. is early bird. It's $10 to get in the door. Uh, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's $10 to get in the door. Um, and then we're giving away for the first uh, 450 people through the door. They get a chance at some mega door prizes. We're going to give away some pretty serious cash items. Uh, Excellent. You know, so high value stuff. So we like to get back to the community. Uh, just come on out. Bring your kids along. Have a good time. So make Wonderful. sure you come check it out. You guys seen the video from last year. It was absolutely incredible. Yeah. So it's going to be just that. as good, if not better, this year. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of good stuff. So check out the website, ToysForTheAgesExpo.com. Have some stuff on there. And also follow us on Facebook and Instagram, uh, Toys for the Ages Expo. You can check that out. I'm always posting stuff. Uh, you know, we got a lot of new things uh, rolling out this year. So awesome. If you guys get a chance, make sure you come on out. For sure. Appreciate for it. sure. But we got, we got Uncle Bob here, too. Yeah, Uncle huh? Bob. <laughs> Well, what's up, Chris? We got, hey guys. We got Uncle what's Bob's up? vintage toys. To I got no voice today, sorry. Oh, no. You, you sell on Whatnot, right? So a lot of Whatnot is Uncle underscore Bob. Yeah, a lot of great toys, Star Wars, all kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Every Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern. Yep, yep. And you'll be at Toys for the Ages, too, I will be at Toys for the Ages. My wife and I will be setting up. We got two boots. It'll be great. Lots of vintage. Some modern, mostly vintage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You've got a booth in a flea market, too? Uh, in the antique store. It's Bedford Street Antiques. Okay. It's in Carlisle, BA. It's okay. uh, 44 North Bedford Street, Carlisle, BA. Excellent. Yeah. You guys check that out, too. Yeah, Uncle Bob, he's please. got some really good stuff. Appreciate that, check man. Check his yeah. whatnot page. Yeah, great show. Crazy busy, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, this is a pretty good show so far. I didn't know if they came with both. Well, probably. Who knows what they're doing at the factory? Yeah. <laughs> That's what, yeah. Double key. Yeah, one of those. 
Lots of ponies at this show. There are. Battle beasts. Some battle beasts. You got, you got that niggas over, right? She did. Nice. Oh, I got a real these guys with my the enemy <laughs> action force guys I'm from really sharp England, right, right. and they look great because they have a red color. How's your action force collection coming along? Yeah, just put them in there. Uh, any any you, progress sir. is uh, Glad remarkable. Going to a good home. Is, 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 is. So you guys are working on something for you. Yeah. Yeah. I work on yeah. that. Winglet. Starcom. Microscopic white winglet. Give it. Look. It's swamped. Puzzler. Puzzler is there. Alright, let me think about it. He in this direction over here, so maybe the little spins. I want to say that one, but I'm not 100%. Is it wherever you brought the star comment? There you go. Found an indie. Really? No, no thumb. Oh. Poor indie. It's pretty consistent though, right? Really? It sure is. <laughs> Oh, 
It's a nice looking Death Star box. You need that white tiger zord? No, we don't. It's going. Hey, what's no. going on, BOD? It's going to its forever. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will need the one that looks like Mecha Godzilla at some point. Give me the next one I get. To go over the line. Remember Mecha Godzilla? Sure. He looks just like it. It's like a complete movie. <laughs> Yeah, way gross. What are these things? Three and three quarters. Are they really? Way gross. Oh, I 
know. I know. On the card? It's crazy. Desert Commando version of Rambo. Got the, as seen on from TV, Brazil. Is Jasco. Doxa. Yep. Doxa. Okay, so the first few items I picked up are from the Advanced Dungeons & Dragons line from LJN Toys from 1983 through 1984. You guys know I just picked up the Fortress of Bangs playset with my buddy Chad. So I've been looking to add uh, some more figures to uh, round out my D&D collection. From Series 1, I picked up this Zarak figure. He is not complete. He's missing his yellow dagger. But other than that, he's in pretty good condition. Uh, hopefully I'll find the dagger at some point. And from series two, another incomplete figure. This is Deef, and he has that Battlematic action lever on the back of him. He's missing all of his accessories. He doesn't have his cape or sword or staff or shield. Um, but these series two figures are actually pretty hard to find. Uh, so, you know, I found him laying in a bin and uh, decided to pick him up too. Another Series 2 figure I picked up, but he is 100% complete, is Zorgar. He has his massive club there, as well as his dagger. He's a pretty cool looking guy. I, uh, I like this figure quite a bit. And again, he's from Series 2, which is harder to come by. I mean, you, you find a lot of the Series 1 figures, but Series 2, especially complete, uh, like Zorgar here is, um, very, very hard to find. And then finally, I got the last steed I needed for my collection, the Bronze Dragon, which is 100% complete. His wings are unbroken. The tabs are still there. Has his saddle area here and uh, you know the piece that goes up here and he even threw in a strong heart figure to go with it i already have a strong heart but what's great is that i didn't have strong heart sword um, i have strong heart with his cape but not his sword so now i have a complete strong heart because this one came with his sword <laughs> so um awesome figure great detail on this you know ljn toys did a great job on this line a lot of people um, really, really dig the advanced D&D line. So yeah, super, super psyched to be getting some more D&D figures from my collection. That's an awesome piece. I just got that. Thank you. It's just like a hot toy, really. Yes, yes. That just, yeah, it's awesome. You don't ever get none that close. Yeah, it was, it was open, but it was a Thanks, sir. Yep, have a good one. Hey, I'll be on the blog. I don't mind. Okay, that's cool. a piece you don't know. Uh, uh, it's incredible. There's one on eBay right now. It's at four grand with 30 watchers. Wow. It just was listed, so. Jeez. That's brand new. Yeah, those laser, they just didn't sell no. over here. Yeah, you know? no, and then, so even loose, they're like $800 complete. Right, right. That doesn't include the, the box.
Oh yeah. Sex is pretty cool too. We always figured he probably feeds it the magazine through his arm. There you go. <laughs> Both. European version. What's well, the European version? Yep. Oh no. This is the alien marine. But you get the European figure that you didn't get here in the US before. Gotcha. Just a different way painted up. This is very accurate to the movie with his M56 smart gun. Of course. One of the best movies ever. Oh yeah. No, I'm not going the original oh, yeah. B. These B cards are kind of neat. Right there. The B. You have look ones. I do have the ones that I really wanted to get. Now, I have him, but it, I think I'm missing this blade, and I have him, and I'm missing the hook and the the weirding module, but I have the, the, the worm.
the last couple items I picked up includes this Corporal Pie on the Hog <laughs> from the Barnyard Commandos line, Playmates Toys, circa 1989-1990. Um, Again, Barnyard Commandos. A lot of people really don't collect this line. It's it's kind of kind of strange, um, but I did have a few of these when I was a kid. So, um, but this is from Series Two, and the Series Two Barnyard Commandos are really hard to find. Um, they don't command a lot of money for rare action figures, but they're definitely more than the Series One counterparts. Unfortunately. Pie on the hog here is missing one missile from his um, missile rack, but other than that, in great shape. And the last item I picked up is this awesome space case. <laughs> Me and my buddy Matt saw this sitting up on a shelf, and we're like, "Look at that artwork! That's crazy." You know, this is obviously a knockoff piece. A, a knockoff Star Wars item. It's dated 1984. Um, and it's really more of a Buck Rogers aesthetic, we agreed. Um, and I don't know if I can get exactly um, zoomed in on the, the language here, but there's a little, little line right down here. It says Star Wars is a trademark of Lucasfilm and Lucas film is actually misspelled. It's L-U-C-U-S, not Luke us with a C-A-S. So um, that's even uh, strange um, if you ask me. It does have a tray inside. There's the trays. And uh, I think I paid like 20 bucks for this. Um, great, great Star Wars knockoff piece. So that's it, guys. That's what I picked up at the Maryland Toy Expo. Many thanks to Mark and Christian who put on this great event. Again, it's the sister show for uh, Toys for the Ages, which is going to be held in August up in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Be sure if you're in the area to come to Toys for the Ages Expo. Killer, killer toy show. And I'll be honest, it's probably one of the best vintage toy shows that I've ever been to. And uh, if, you, if that's what you're looking for, vintage toys, definitely come out to Toys for the Ages. So as you saw, I had a great time running around with my buddy Matt. Of course, I ran into Andy and Bob from Uncle Bob's Vintage Toys. Just had a blast. Had a blast running around this event. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel at Reese Retro Toys for all of your toy hunting needs. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep on hunting. I'm walking down folks.